single speed. Drop. Hmm, I'm thinking about it. The drop itself is only about, probably about two foot to the ground, but you're actually dropping about three more feet before you land. And right now it's a little rooty and on a hardtail, cheap Chinese carbon, I don't know, maybe. Contemplating this drop here, but while I'm sitting here uh, and thinking about this, I want to let everybody know that watches the channel, you know, what's been going on. I know it's been a while since I posted anything on YouTube. I think Canuga was the last thing I posted, and that was when was Canuga? August, no, July. This is August, I think it's July. Anyway, around no, it was before July. Anyway, whenever Canuga was, that was the last time I ridden. And it was the last time I posted a video. I'm making a liar on myself. Last time I ridden was the uh, Brandon Quarry Trails, that little race they did. I did that uh, short track race. I forgot about that. And I got footage of that that I've been meaning to put up. But anyway, that's the last time I really ridden and just been I had I had my kids this past uh, you know August so I've had them for a few couple weeks about three four weeks I've been busy with that uh, and I just hadn't been riding I just I get you know I've talked about stuff like this before about uh depression and how it can affect everything really but I, I got a little bit of that I just been down on myself I guess and uh haven't ridden hadn't I mean there's times I could have ridden and I just just didn't have no just didn't want to ride I need to ride because you know enduro is starting back up September and my plan was August my plan was just freaking work out every day, ride at least three times a week. And the first week it, I did good, but then all of a sudden it fell off. I don't know. I just it's hard to, for me to I don't know. I just I got problems. <laughs> it's like everybody's got problems I guess, but anyway, um just doing it and you know I I don't know if y'all saw saw my other Instagram, my Trail Freak Garage. You know, I got me a shop built, and I'm still working some stuff with that, trying to get that together. And I like to do some YouTube videos in my shop, so you know, I got a separate channel for that. No videos yet, but uh, one day, hopefully. But yeah, you know, that's just what I was wanting to tell y'all, the guys and the girls, and whoever watches this channel. I just want you to know I appreciate all you guys and girls, and uh. I'm still gonna make videos, but not as much. I don't think I will be recording my race, my races. Of course, that's all I basically do anyway on this channel, ain't it? Right? I just do my races. Uh, hadn't been too many. Man, I got a bad memory because I went to Beach Mountain a couple weeks ago. Gosh, I'm freaking losing my mind. Of course, Beach Mountain. I just ride downhill there's no real i mean there's riding real riding but you know what i'm saying it's not like xc riding like out here but i did that man i'm losing my mind man but anyway i'm not gonna have videos uploaded as frequently as i have been or actually i haven't been you know trying to do a video every week when you got a full-time job and you got stuff to do when you get home it's just hard to sit down and put a video together and it's hard to plan what you gonna do uh, I've had a lot of plans to do some reviews on some of the equipment I use uh, and update on my evil bike that you know I put new parts on it and stuff like that and and my 
my uh, single speed, my Chinese carbon bike, that was my XC racing bike, it's now single speed, and every time I come out here to Bonita, that's what I ride, try to ride, because, you know, it'll help with my climbing and stuff like that, and it's tough on single speed out here, climbing, but uh, I think I'm rambling on about stuff, you know, like I say, the, the depression, it, it gets me down, because I started about riding pretty good about four years ago and I got a short attention span too so I mean I'll do something for a while and kind of get bored with it I'm not really bored of mountain bike I just you know some stuff gets old and uh, I still love mountain bike I love it especially the enduro stuff and uh, hmm I lost what I was going to say next. So I'm just rambling right now. Enjoying the... It's a little warm. It ain't too bad. We got a little breeze out here. But, uh... Yeah, like I said, I got a <laughs> short attention span. And, you know, I get hobbies. And I started mountain biking in 2017. And my goal was... The main goal was to get in shape, lose some weight. Because I'm... I, and I reached that goal, kind of. I, I lost... I was like 250 something. I think it was almost 260 when I first started riding again. But got down to 225 was the lightest I got. Then I just hit a wall. Then my weight started creeping back up. I'm back up to 250. And I can't. If I would have continued doing what I did in 2017, man, I'd be ripped. I'd be, mm, I'd be ripped. <laughs> but I hadn't. I, I just hit these walls. And, you know, it's that depression and stuff. And anxiety. And. And uh, it just gets me, and I can't stop eating food and drinking sodas, you know. Sodas, that's my biggest problem. I, ah, hey, I love sodas, but I hate them because they are the biggest factor in my weight is the sodas. And I try, but when I get <laughs> I get in that place, I got to have a soda. I guess it's better than being an alcoholic, you know. You know, I have a beer every now and then, but... I don't, I'm not a big drinker, so that's kind of good. Uh, that's just what it is, man. I, I get depressed. And I got a good life. I really do. It's just, I don't know. I can't explain it. I just get to a place. I can't get out of it, but uh, I'm going to try. I like, you know, racing, fix the start back up, and maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's because there wasn't much racing going on. I like, I just like to race and even though I don't do very well. Uh, but, you know, I am rambling about everything and nothing. But August, August, the plan was to exercise every day, ride my bike at least three times a week, and go on a weekend somewhere and ride so I can get in shape for these uh, Enduros coming up. And uh, I haven't done that. But I'm going to start again this week. So I'm going to try again. So I went about a week or so without, you know, drinking sodas. And I was eating pretty decent, but it just hit the wall again. I just something happens, and I pick up a soda. Then it goes downhill from there. So, like I say, I've said it probably 50 times, but I'm not giving up YouTube videos. But I'm also not going to stress about trying to get something uploaded because I I do this for fun. It's a hobby. I'm not doing it for uh, the money you could make on YouTube. I mean, I'm never going to hit that. Uh, it'd be nice if I could hit uh, at least a thousand subscribers and start getting a little bit of income, but that's not going to happen. I can't do this full time. And I don't have time to do YouTube, you know, like I want to or way you're supposed to do it when you, if you want to make some money, but nah, no big deal. That's just like the other channel I'm going to be doing. I'm just doing that for fun to document document what I've done, you know, and, you know, later on my kids can see it, my grandkids and their grandkids be like, hey, great-grandpa used to do this, you know, he used to, they ain't ride mountain bikes and shit, Oops, sorry, I said a bad word, but uh, anyway, I just want to let y'all know, the guys and girls who follow my channel and watch my videos and like my videos, thank you very much, 
and if you're new to the channel and you're seeing this guy talk about depression and crap and what you want to see some of my past videos go watch those and watch my future videos like i say i will be posting my race videos and i will be trying to go ride i was wanting to go to arkansas and uh to outer bike and go up and ride again but I, that's kind of i don't know if i'll make that or not but my races i'm definitely doing my races first race is in september for go nuts at ttc the toughest place you can ride or you know it's tough but it's fun i love it and after that will be let's see it's september then october october is a full month for racing I got uh I'm doing the quick six on Saturday. Can't remember the date. I think it's the second. October second is the quick six in Georgia. Then the next day is the uh go nuts race at Oak Mountain. So I'll be two doing two races. Woo. I say I'm crazy, but it's I like fun, it's fun, man. Anyway, like I said, thank you. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh email me you know whatever i mean just whatever just talk to me if you want to if not that's cool so i'm in it there because i think i done rambled on about the same crap <laughs> and i'm still just debating whether i should hit this drop or not so i will film that and let y'all know how it goes so i might be rolling down this hill all right later and like i say just ride man and i need i always say that but I need to follow my own advice, huh? <laughs> so just ride, man. Have a good one. Thank you. Peace. Peace. Okay. Woohoo! All right, I made that. I'm not doing it again though. <laughs> Woo, almost. Ooh, on a hardtail, that coming in right there on a hardtail is really, really tough because you're bouncing around everywhere. I didn't think I was going to hit that because that's a skinny little drop. And my brakes suck on this bike and almost went into the ditch. <laughs> and as you can tell, I'm bad out of shape. And I need to start riding to get ready for these enduros. So on that note, I'm going for real this time. Take it easy. Just right, man.